It is now a few days later, and I went back and forth on whether I wanted to put all the rabbits in tractors or not. And obviously, as you can see, I decided to go ahead and try it. I'm going to explain all the reasons why later, but this is one of the pens. We only have this big pen and then two small tractors set up right now. But we can work it so that we have most of the rabbits in tractors, then leave a few of them still in the colony until we fix the other two tractors up. So we're going to put a whole bunch of rabbits in this pen, and I decided to switch up who's going to be in which pen. So I'm going to have to kind of refigure that out. But pretty soon we're going to be taking the first big step towards having all the rabbits in their new setup. Alright, so here's the updated plan. Leah, Lavender, Asha, Isley, and Constance are all going in the big pen that I just showed you. Then the same is Ivanhoe and Elodie will be in one tractor. And I think this is the same as well. Acrobat and Sterling will be in the same tractor. And then Ivy and Zuzu, which I kind of switched that up, will be in a tractor by themselves. And then Cattail and Onyx will be in a tractor by themselves. And I think that's all the rabbits and that's all the tractors we have available. So basically all the little girls in the big pen... And then all the older does and doe and buck pairs all divided up into tractors. Okay, so right now Sterling, Isley, and Lavender are in one tractor and Leah and Onyx are in the other one. So that means that today, if we move Leah, Lavender, Isley, leaving the bucks where they're, sp where they're gonna be permanently, then we can move Acrobat and Cattail into tractors, leaving Ivy, Zuzu, Ivanhoe, and Elodie as the only ones in the colony. And that's really important. Notice Acrobat is going to leave the colony. And I'll show you later why that's really important. I ended up having to crawl in the tractors for both sets of rabbits I had to grab. But I got all three of them in there. Now they get to go to their new home. And this is also extra special because Leah and Isley are sisters. And they haven't seen each other for a while. They've been in separate tractors for a while, so they'll be reunited. Well, they are right now, but they'll be able to live together. It'll be so fun. Especially because I have to have my wrist brace on again. I'm not going to be able to film and put the rabbits in at the same time, so this will be the last clip you see of the rabbits in the carrier. Pretty soon they're going to be their new home. What do you think, girls? What do you think? Do you like your shelter? Yeah. The plan is to lock them up at night mate sometimes or all the time or especially if we have to move them the next day and also that'll give them some shade during the hot sun of the middle of the day right now it's pretty cool but it's still early in the morning no one seems to be picking on leah too much whenever you put new rabbits together there is a chance of fighting but but i think that because some of them are sisters and lavender has lived with them for months and months and they're used to being with each other recently it'll be pretty okay is that so fun? Is that so fun? Oh, I just love watching rabbits on new grass. Like, pure new grass. I mean, like, in the tractor, it's kind of fun, but, like, actually, like, running through it and stuff, it's so awesome. I miss having rabbits in a pasture pen. But now I don't have to anymore. Oh my gosh, look at you! I mean, like, my static colony is amazing, and I love it so much, but that's one of the cons I miss out on, is having them on fresh grass and watching them run and hide and, like, burrow through it and like, it's so tall, especially, like, way over here. They can, like, hide in the grass and stuff. It's not all grass. Most of it's, like, other plants. But still, it's so fun. I should probably get the other girls for you, too. I probably should. I just love watching you so much. Okay. I should stop. All right, let's go get the other ones. Well, it looks like catching these ones will be much easier. They're all at the door waiting for me. Oh my gosh, that was so much easier. I didn't have to even lean, like, I just leaned over the doorway, and they came right up to me. I grabbed them and put them in. That was so much easier than having to cram my body into a tiny tractor and reach way back. That is one thing I love about colonies, is that the rabbits are free to be so friendly with you, and they're not scared of you. Look at them. They're just, like, waiting for me. They're waiting for greens. That's what they want, is food. I guess it's good I did this in the morning and when they're still hungry. Okay, girls, let's go. Meet your new friends. Oh, my gosh. Let's say hi to Daisy. Do you like their new collars? Daisy has one with daisies on it. I thought that was adorable. We found it at Walmart. And Violet has a violet collar. It matches your name. It matches your name. Were you sleeping? I know this is about rabbits. This video is all about rabbits. But how can you not resist? Okay, they're all together. This will be really weird because Constance and Leah, even though their coloring is different, like the blue and the black are so similar. And then also Asha and Lavender look super similar. 
not too much fighting yet, I guess the greens are a good distraction. These, I'm more worried about. They've never met each other. They're, I don't know, they're kind of like maturing does, so their, like, hormones are gonna be kind of crazy and weird. So, we'll have to see how this turns out. But so far, it's going pretty okay. Like, I still have more switching to do. I just might enjoy my hard work and enjoy the rabbits enjoying it for a while. <laughs> You're standing on the wire, dude. You silly bun. I guess while I'm standing here, I should address the changes I've made to the pasture pen. Obviously, I've cut it to half its size. Instead of eight cattle panels, I have four. Which, that was pretty easy. But, I also gave up on the idea of wire pounding it in the, around the border to prevent them from digging out. I'm going to see how that goes. Everything's pretty flat. There's no like big gaps or anything. And I'm going to move them so much. And I specifically chose these does who like aren't old enough to be bred. And it's like summertime. So they're probably not pregnant and they're kind of younger. So hopefully, you know, like the pregnant mama instinct to dig is extra high. So I'm hoping that because these does are hopefully not pregnant, that that won't be extra high and they won't dig out. Having to do that all of last year was a huge part of why I stopped using the pasture pen because it took so long to pound everything in especially with our hard rocky clay soil so I figured I'd try not doing it this time because it make it so much easier for me to actually do what I wanted I probably wouldn't ever do a pasture pen again if I had to do that much pounding every day especially with a hurt wrist that's very difficult there was one area that was kind of um a little gappy so I put a rock and a stick there to block it also, last time we did the tractor stuff, no one ever tried to dig out except for that one pregnant doe we kept in here longer than we should have, which of course was Acrobat, and she's you know the escape artist. So none of these rabbits are, supposed, are super escapey, and for the most part, all the young growouts I kept in here last year were fine and didn't even like try to dig out. So that might have been a little bit of overkill last year. I'm gonna I guess experiment this year and see if that's true or not. Oh look, two new rabbits meeting for the first time. What's gonna happen? You smell her, Isalee? And for some of them, on the bottom, like, it got ripped off, like, the entire thing. But some of them, I kind of got lazy and just left them on, so I kind of folded them up. So that's why it kind of looks kind of weird there. Another really great thing about having these rabbits in here, not only is that they're young and probably not going to dig as many holes as an adult pregnant rabbit would, also is that Lavender, Isalee, and Leah are actually not like technically my rabbits some other family members wanted to like own rabbits it's like a little fun thing and like so they can have like a pet rabbit but like a breeder so like they kind of have ownership of those three breeders i still take care of them and like i'm in control of the babies and i breed them and, and i feed them and i'm kind of over them but just kind of like a fun oh this is my rabbit type thing we were buying a whole bunch of rabbits, and I was like, you guys want to, like, own rabbits besides me? And they're like, sure. So they came and picked them out, and they picked out the names and stuff. And keeping those rabbits... Oh, is there going to be a fight? Is there going to be a fight? The two spotted ones that look super similar. Leah, oh my gosh. So for a while, when they were in the hutch when we first got them, it was pretty okay because, you know, you could open the hutch door and catch them. But then when they were in these tractors for so long, you know, they couldn't pet them or love on them or like feed them or anything super fun like that like they kind of wanted to do with their like quote-unquote pet rabbits so I figured that you know having them in here where you can like you know easily open the door oh, little fight little fight good job fighting get it all out while I'm watching so I figured that having them in this pen where you can easily come in and sit and have like treats and feed them treats and pet them and get them used to and love you like, you know, colony rabbits, just like a pasture colony would be kind of fun for the people who own the rabbits besides me. All right. If you guys can't tell already by the screaming baby goats in the background waiting to be let out after we milk, it is approaching milking time. So my time for early morning projects is nearing a close. So I should probably leave these girls to their eating and hierarchy figuring out and get the other two rabbits from the colony into tractors with their new boyfriends. Are you impatient? <laughs> yes, you are, screamers. You are so impatient. Is that fun? You're too young to be separated. So you get to be with your mommy all the time. You're too little still. Okay. 
You buns ready? <laughs> Patch, be quiet. Oh my gosh. Okay, who's first? There you go, Cattail. There's your brother. They're actually brother and sister. And they've come from the same colony. They were born, obviously born and raised together. So, they'll probably do just fine. And you'll probably be able to notice pretty soon Cattail's weird head tilt thing. It's not inhibiting her eating or drinking or living or being happy. So, I don't really know what's causing it or like what to do about it. So, I'm just letting her play it out. I mean... If she's needlessly suffering, I will obviously call her. But so far, it seems like she's not suffering at all. She just looks kind of weird. She always looks like questioning or curious. I think that's kind of funny. Okay, Acrobat, are you ready? you have It's been a long time since you've been in a tractor. A very long time. You ready, Sterling? I took all your girls. You're probably very confused and sad. Don't worry, I'm going to get you a big girl. She's a big girl. She's old enough to probably to be your grandma. Actually. Okay. There you go, Acrobat. What do you think? Now, this will be a little more interesting because they don't know each other at all. But circling and fighting is completely normal. And then they're doing that in this other place as well, too. Just normal, normal.